Welcome to the channel. This is the 2023 Range Rover and this is the gas edition. We ended up getting rid of the green Range Rover and now we're bringing this down. This is literally fresh out of Range Rover and straight second skin so we can get a wrap just to protect the beautiful gold paint. So let's welcome to the channel the gold Range Rover. This is a Batumbi gold finish now the Bilgavia green Range Rover. We ended up selling already. It has the same color interior as the Bilgavia green Range Rover but this one has the special special engine. This is the V8 twin turbo engine. It's pushing about 550 horsepower if I'm not mistaken. Now this deserves an exhaust. I don't know if it has a sport exhaust in the controller. I'm going to check but because this is a bigger engine it's got way more torque and this gold I thought actually it's going to remind me of the GT3 gold which is like really bright gold but it's actually a little too tame for my taste. I really wanted to match these cars together but that's not gonna happen now the car is has been brought to the farm it came from second skin so that we can get a matte clear wrap and for now we're basically gonna wait for the place to get released but for this week we're gonna go down with the defender because that needs to be changed oil yesterday we shuffled all the cars because we needed it to move the cars on this side because they're gonna be uh, destroying some of the paint on this side because they got to renovate because of chipping now this can't wait to drive this car. I'm really curious to find out if this will be a better drive than the D350 because the D350 was actually a fun car. I love the Bilgava green color. I love the interior. I love the comfort. Now this on the other hand is a completely different animal. Super fast V8 twin turbo engine and I'm sure we can boost this up even further. Check this out, it comes with its own battery tending port which is super cool because the Defender doesn't have a battery tending port so we actually had to buy an aftermarket battery tender. Now also you can actually jumpstart the car based off this pin which is the negative and then that pin which is the positive. Definitely we gotta remove the plastic. I thought Archie had to go and remove all the plastic protection already but I guess he left some for us. And this has got to go to along with this. Now 
uh, let's see what's different with the cluster. So it has a split screen cluster now, which I didn't have in the other car. I don't know if there's a different setting for that, but... So off the bat, there's no sport mode in this car. Drive is just basically the hold brake and then the DSC. So as far as I can tell, there's no way to actually get more sound from the exhaust. Let's look at the back and see if there's valves on it. Okay, here we are underneath. And that looks like a fake exhaust tip. Believe it or not, look at that. You see that? That is blocked. The fake exhaust tip. We have one exhaust side here. And doesn't look like there is a valve, there is a flapper right there. So we can disconnect that to get more sound. From what I can see underneath, the driver's side exhaust pipe is a single exhaust pipe, but it actually has the bypass valve, which means if the flap opens, I guess it's more of a straight pipe on this side. And then the other side has both tips open, so that, that means that's the quiet side. So if we're gonna get any noise, it's gonna be from this side. Now, I don't know if I should get an exhaust for this because, I mean, it is a V8, it should sound good. The Defender sounded really good when we opened up the exhaust and I don't mind it, but this one, on the other hand, is more for luxury and comfort, so I don't know if I really wanna get an exhaust. And I'll have to decide in a few weeks because what's gonna happen is when we go down to Manila, I leave for Europe and I'm not gonna be able to use this till we get back. So it's gonna be a while until so we actually get to drive this baby. I always wanna thank Second Skin for protecting all the paint. They protected that, they protected that, they protected that, they protected that. Now, I don't use normally get the car first they normally go to second skin direct and then i get the car after when the paint is nicely protected so we ended up deciding to go with just a satin matte wrap so that it can actually just matte it out i did want this color maybe i still wrap it this color and because i really love how this gold shines This is not much of a long vlog, it's just mostly receiving the new Range Rover and then obviously shuffling the cars around. But yeah, this is not the whole entire fleet, but it is some of the nice cars that we have on the channel. And I know you guys have been asking what's happening to the SVJ. Nothing, it's just parked. And honestly, it's such a great car. I do miss driving it, but it's also such a terrible car. And that's why it's parked here. I'm enjoying the 812 GTS at the moment because that is a much more comfortable car, practical in so many more senses, and it just shifts better overall. But the SVJ, yesterday I started it, I had some pops and bangs, and I do miss it. I miss actually bringing it around. But for now, we're gonna end this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short episode, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.